We're choosing it to call it choosing to call it Eli's Angel Day, which for me makes it easier to live through it. Happening right now, a memorial for a West Jordan boy killed by a drunk driver one year ago. Yeah, family and friends are gathering at the exact time and location where this tragedy occurred just last year at this time. Lincoln Graves live there right now for us. Uh, just getting underway right now, Lincoln, what's the latest there? Yeah, Mark and Jamie, a big crowd that actually showed up for this. This is the intersection where this happened, 90th South and 1510 West. Look at the crowd that has showed up for this. Uh, right now, some friends of Eli's, they were just playing some music in honor of him. Uh, law enforcement has closed off this street so everybody could gather here. This happened a year ago. His family's marking the tragedy by reflecting on memories of Eli, but also their own accomplishments over the past year. It's the kind of dreadful anniversary that Lisa Mitchell is trying to turn on its head. We're choosing it to call it, choosing to call it Eli's Angel Day. The day when her 13-year-old son, Eli Mitchell, was hit and killed by a drunk driver. What I found is everybody grieves differently, and I, my grieving is alone in the quiet moments. She says the grief has been tempered a bit by the advocacy work she and other family members have done to prevent a similar tragedy. All family members have embraced the process. It is remarkable and it's cool to see all these people coming together to um, make a change. That change is addressing alcohol over service in Utah. Eli's family maintains the driver who killed him was over served and their state representative Ken Ivory helped pass a bill targeting over service. They're taking just tremendous grief and, and turning it into policy that's going to make a difference so that there aren't more Eli Mitchell tragedies. According to Ivory, the bill clarifies what it means to be intoxicated and requires bars and restaurants to maintain records if an accident occurs. Representative, do you think that's enough? Do you wish more could happen in the future? Um, yeah, more will happen in the future. He didn't specify what further action might be proposed, but Eli's mom also feels there's more to do. It's just sort of mind-blowing to me that you can be intoxicated and you can walk out and start your car. And so I, there is definitely room for more improvement, but I'm so grateful to have at least made like a little dent. And again, here's a look at this memorial happening right now. Uh, Eli's mother told me earlier today that he loved music. And so again, a bunch of his friends uh, playing a medley of some of his favorite soundtrack music right now. So uh, a really emotional time right here. They're really trying to aim to keep this positive, not sad. That's what his mom told me today. Uh, this should go until about 645 tonight. Live in West Jordan, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News.